And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from Ligue 1. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they take on Ajaccio. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And so the battle commences. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Bernat plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Vitor Ferreira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And leading the line, Lionel Messi plays alongside Kylian Mbappe. Oh, Derek, what a chance this is. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Hakimi's cross is played into a really dangerous area. And from that sort of range, you'd be shocked if Mbappe missed out. He just keeps showing us what a top finisher he is. ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Lionel Messi Hakimi now Messi and a body in the way Mongani Hamuma Losing possession a bit easily. Lionel Messi. Mbappe! And the keeper more than equal to it. And over it comes. Firing it towards goal. He can't hold on to it. It could be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But from a defensive point of view, it's not good enough. They stop marking in the box and don't close the scorer down. That's just poor defending. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Now the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. What can they do from here? Firing it towards goal! Munaim El Idrisi. Can they hit on the break? And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Well, as the stats confirm, PSG have had the lion's share of possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Needs to tread carefully. Mongani. 
Bayala. Well, great read there to intercept. Danilo Pereira. Now with Akimi and PSG pushing forward with options available. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Munaim El Idrisi. Now with Akimi. Verratti. Putting his body on the line. Danilo Pereira. Vitor Ferreira. Extremely sloppy in possession. Can he find the right pass? A well, disappointing end to the move. Straight offside, but only just. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Verratti. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, on the evidence of what we're seeing in this match, Kylian Mbappe... So underway once again, and still reflecting on a sumptuous first-half performance from Paris Saint-Germain. Fabian. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Messi. Messi! Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Fired over by Messi. Splendid defending. Bayala. Mongani. Far from a good pass. Messi, here's Mbappe, Verratti, Messi, and here he is, Lionel Messi! Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off! Wonderful to have that in your repertoire! Well, here it is again, Messi's cross really invites somebody to go and attack it, and then just look at the way he opens up his body here. Times it perfectly, catches it so sweetly, it's a wonderful strike. So on with the game, much to admire about PSG, who look as though they're really in the mood. Bayala. In position. Oh, a good timing save. Delivering it. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Kylian Mbappe. Bernat. They've given it away. Verratti. Making progress is Kylian Mbappe. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, they've decided to make a change. A routine save. Marchesi. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation.
Oh, great attacking play. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And now the delivery. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. PSG doing well to regain possession. Well, visionary passing. Well, the supporters think it's on. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Well, as we approach full-time, Paris Saint-Germain absolutely coasting to victory, Stuart. Well, what an excellent performance. Oh, Stuart, an opportunity! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, it has come to nothing. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And the cross from Mbappe, and an effective clearance. Mikael Barreto might really be able to trouble them here. And he takes on the shot, nicely saved. And time for the change now. Who can he pick out? Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, behind for another corner. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Oh, tremendous block. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Mbappe. And still dangerous. Well cleared away. Verratti. And you need your defender to take charge. And that will be all. Three points for PSG. That's the good news for their fans around the world. Your assessment. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent. 